गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज पार्ट थ्री ऑफ डी एन एफ ब्लॉक क्लास ट्वेल्थ नाउ एम गोना डिस्कस द टॉपिक ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स इन द केस ऑफ डी ब्लॉक्स एंड द मेन सीरीज विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग इज द थ्री डी सीरीज और दर्ड सीरीज फ्रॉम स्कैंडियम टू जिंक सो स्कैंडियम टू जिंक इट शोज द थ्री डी सीरीज और द फर्स्ट सीरीज ऑफ ट्रांजेशन एलिमेंट सो यू कैन सी दैट द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट फॉर दीज एलिमेंट्स इट इज गिवन इन दिस टेबल and uh, these oxidation states basically differ by one unit if you say scandium in the case of scandium it shows one oxidation state which is plus 3 in titanium it shows variable oxidation states it shows plus 2 it shows plus 3 it shows plus 4 also as the d electrons are increasing the tendency to show the variable oxidation states also increases and this variation is basically differ by one unit and if we compare it with the non transition elements there the uh, difference in the oxidation states is basically differ by 2 but here it is differing by 1 see vanadium in the case of vanadium 2 3 4 5 5 oxidation state is possible in the chromium up to 6 in the manganese from plus 2 to plus 7 in iron plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 6 in cobalt after iron now it gets starts decreasing 2 3 4 in nickel 2 3 4 copper 1 and 2 and zinc only so the elements which uh, give the greater number of oxidation states they occur basically in the middle of the series fine and in the manganese white shows the uh, plus 7 oxidation state because uh, in this case the electrons of d and s both has been uh, they both are basically participating in the case of oxidation state of plus 7 so in plus 7 state manganese it has no electron in 4s and has no electron in 3d as well as so lesser the number of oxidation state uh, you can see that at the extreme ends starting or ending in the extreme ends you can see the oxidation states are basically number of oxidation states are lesser fine and from either two few electrons to lose or share like for scandium and titanium or it is having or it is see either it is they are having very less electrons to lose or share or they are having too many d electrons to share or uh, lose right so hence few orbitals available in which to share electrons with others so for higher valency for copper and zinc you can uh, you can see in case of copper and zinc they have too many electrons in the d so that is why they are showing the less or low oxidation states so thus early in the series scandium is virtually unknown means if you see scandium 2 positive is not given in this case so it is वर्चुअली अन नॉन मीन्स अभी तक इसका कोई प्लस टू में कंपाउंड नहीं मिला है सो दैट इज वाइट इज इन दैट इज वर्चुअली अन नॉन बट इट शुड एग्जिस्ट एंड टाइटेनियम इज शोइंग दी प्लस फोर इज मोर स्टेबल दैन थ्री एंड टू ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट सो बेसिकली इट शो टू थ्री फोर थ्री ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट बट प्लस फोर इज मोर स्टेबल एज कम्पेयर टू टू एंड थ्री एंड दी अदर एंड दी ओनली ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट फॉर जिंक इज प्लस टू बिकॉज नाउ आफ्टर बिकॉज आफ्टर रिमूविंग टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्रॉम द फोर एस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट लेफ्ट विद ओनली थ्री डी कॉन्फिग्रेशन थ्री डी टेन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच इज वेरी स्टेबल एंड फुलफिल द मैक्सिम ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट्स ऑफ रिजनेबल स्टेबिलिटी कॉरेस्पॉन्ड इन वैल्यू टू दी सम ऑफ एस एंड डी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अप टू मैंगनीस सो वाई इट इज सो दैट मैंगनीस शोज मैक्सिम ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट बिकॉज इन दैट केस द एस एंड डी इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दे बोट पार्टिसिपेट सम ऑफ दिस डू दिस टू और बट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एड्स अप फाइन सो that is why this chromium manganese they show the maximum oxidation state maximum oxidation state up to plus 6 and plus 7 and followed by a rather abrupt decrease in the stability of higher oxidation states so that the typical species follow are 2 3 of iron 2 3 of cobalt and nickel 2 and copper and zinc that is possible so up to manganese higher oxidation states are possible are basically are stable but after that there is a decrease in the stability of higher oxidation states and they basically stable in the lower oxidation state species like iron is stable in 2 and 3 cobalt in 2 and 3 nickel in 2 and copper in 1 and 2 and zinc in 2 so this variation of oxidation states the variability of oxidation states it is a characteristic of transition element and why they show variation because of the incomplete filling of diorbital right because of the incomplete filling of diorbital that is why they show a variation in the oxidation states so this is in contrast with the very if you compare this variability of oxidation state with the non transition elements uh, there the they differ their oxidation states by unit of 2 and here they differ by unit of 1 so their oxidation states of uh, basically the oxidation states of transition elements they differ from each other by unity and in the case of non transition elements they differ by a unit of 2 so this is the difference so it is the characteristic of transition element 
main characteristic of transition element that the oxidation states of these elements they differ from each other by one or by unit and there is an again interesting feature in the variation of oxidation state of d block uh, is it is that that in the p block the lower oxidation states are favored by heavier members fine due to inert pair effect uh, if you compare the each last member of p block or group members you can see they always tend to stable in the lower oxidation state rather than high because of the not very effect but the opposite is true in the case of d block elements means higher the heavier the member the heavy or uh, the more oxidation state is basically the stable like in group 6 or if you compare with the, the 40 series the molybdenum and tungsten they are heavier element elements or they are heavier transition elements they are found to be more stable in the plus 6 oxidation state fine rather than chromium 6 means if we compare the stability of molybdenum tungsten and chromium the chromium 6 is, 6 is less stable as compared to tungsten and molybdenum so this is opposite so thus chromium 6 in the form of dichromate is an acidic medium is a strong oxidizing agent so, so many of uh, so in uh, if we see that in organic chemistry we have studied that acidic dichromate acidic potassium permanganate they are these oxidizing agents why they they are the oxidizing agents because they are less stable in acidic medium fine why because their highest oxidation states are less stable because in dichromate chrome is in plus three oxidation state in case of permanganate magnesium magnesium is again in the highest oxidation state which is plus seven so their higher oxidation states are not that stable that is why in acidic medium they act as a strong oxidizing agents but molybdenum o3 and tungsten o3 oxides in which they have plus six oxidation state they are not reactive they are basically stable so low oxidation states are found when a complex compound has ligand capable of pi acceptor character in addition to the sigma bonding. For example, nickel carbon and iron carbon. The oxidation states of nickel and iron is zero. It is saying that low oxidation states are also possible. Like it's not that zero oxidation state possible. Nahi hai. In the case of transition element, zero oxidation is also possible. In nickel carbon and in iron carbon, in both this compound, the iron nickel shows the zero oxidation state. But it is possible only when when they are form compound, they form complex with the ligands which are pi acceptors. Means these carbonyls, uh, this is a pi acceptor ligand. They these carbonyl in the case of nickel carbon and iron carbonyl, this carbonyl ligand it accepts electron density from the fulfilled orbital into its pi antibonding or uh, pi antibonding orbital. Right. So, uh, means in in short they want to say that the lower oxidation states are also possible in the case of transition zero is also possible but with the uh, ligands which are pi acceptor pi acceptor means they accept electron density from d orbital to its anti bonding pi star orbital now example 8.3 is given that name a transition element which does not exhibit variable oxidation state and it is obvious that scandium because it shows only one which is plus three plus two is virtually stable an intake question is given that which of the three series of transition metal exhibit the large number of oxidation states and why so it is the manganese or the chromium and why because uh, because in the case of manganese and chromium the 4s and 3d orbitals they both sum up and they participate fine now next is the trends in m2 positive and m standard electrode potential so standard electrode potential ke bar mein padhenge hum is topic mein ab table 8.4 given hai jisme har ek element ka ev given hai electrode potential given hai so table 8.4 it contains the thermochemical parameters related to the transformation of the solid metal ions to m2 positive ions in the solution and their standard electron potential values also so the unique behavior of copper is basically shown we have seen that all the metals transition metals which are discussed or which is in this table they shows they show basically the negative electron potential values negative electron potential means uh, they are ox they are basically reducing in nature but if you see the uh, value of copper it is positive and those which are having the positive electron potential uh, electro potential values they do not liberate hydrogen gas that is why the copper is having the inability to liberate the hydrogen gas from acids right because it is having the positive electro potential positive electro potential means it becomes less less reducing now it has uh, it is in the category of oxidizing agents so only the oxidizing acids acids which are oxidizing and uh, which has higher ev values higher potential values in copper it reacts with copper like nitric and hot conch sulfuric acid they are the oxidizing acids they react with copper and the acids being reduced 
so basically why it is so that copper to copper 2 positive is having the high ev value it is not bec it is because of uh, the they ha it has less hydration enthalpy but it has very high atomization enthalpy atomization enthalpy means energy required to become atom in a gaseous state which is very high and because of that high enthalpy its overall electrode potential value becomes positive so its electrode potential value is basically uh, given by the hydration as well as the atomization but the atomization is very large as compared to the hydration enthalpy so in that case its ev value becomes positive and it becomes unable to liberate hydrogen from the acids so the general trend towards less negative e value across the series is related to the general increase in the sum of the first and second ionization enthalpies now it is like why it is so that uh, in that series only some of the metals have uh, the negative or the less negative ev values because in that case in in basically in that uh, if you come if you see the values of nickel copper and zinc or manganese nickel and zinc they are negative because their first and second ionization enthalpies become large and ionization enthalpy signs has negative they are they have negative signs and when they become large so their ev values are the lie in the negative portion or it becomes almost negative whether it is less negative but it becomes negative so the general trend towards less negative value across the series is related to the general increase in the sum of first and second ionization enthalpies so it is interesting to note that value of electrode potential for manganese nickel and zinc are more negative than expected from the trend why because their first and second ionization enthalpies become some of the first and second becomes more negative when it is become more negative the overall value will become negative only but in this case of copper it is positive why, uh, why? because its in enthalpy of atomization is very large and which is basically the positive because in the atomization the energy is required in the case of ionization so basically the negative charge means they require less energy positive means they require large energy so in the case of copper copper 2 positive the higher the atomization the value become more positive and positive means it will be very difficult for means it is not it is unable to liberate the acid uh, to liberate the hydrogen gas from the acids so basically electrode potential values is being uh, decided by many the many of the factors like atomization energy hydration enthalpy or the ionization enthalpy सो जो भी चीज़ डोमिनेट करती है उसके अकॉर्डिंग इसका साइन जो है नेगेटिव या पॉजिटिव हो जाता है इफ द आइशन थैल्पीज वैल्यू डोमिनेट इट बिकम्स नेगेटिव इफ एटमाइजेशन डोमिनेट्स इट बिकम्स पॉजिटिव नाउ इन टेक्स क्वेश्चन इट इज बिंग आस्क दैट एट पॉइंट फोर दैट इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल वैल्यू फॉर कॉपर इज पॉजिटिव एंड वॉट इज द पॉसिबल रीजन सो हिंट इज इज गिवन दैट कंसिडर दैट इट हैज हाई पोटेंशियल वैल्यू इट इज हैविंग द हाई एंथेल्पी ऑफ एटमाइजेशन एंड लो एंथेल्पी ऑफ hydration so high enthalpy of atomization basically makes the overall value positive for the copper and that is why its electron potential value is positive now in table 8.4 the thermochemical data is given for first row transition elements and the standard electrode potential for the reduction of m2 to m so ye sari ki sari aap dekh sakte hain ye electrode potential values given hain sari elements ke liye फर्स्ट गिवन है मींस आप देख सकते हैं टाइटेनियम का पहले इस तरीके से वैल्यू गिवन है टाइट एटोमाइजेशन वैल्यू इट इज़ फोर सिक्सटी नाइन फर्स्ट आइनाइजेशन सिक्स फाइव सिक्स एन सेकेंड वन थ्री जीरो नाइन एंड हाइड्रेशन इज माइनस वन एट सिक्स तो व्हेन यू एड ऑल दीज वैल्यूज ऑल दिस एडिशन ऑल दिस वैल्यूज बेसिकली टेल्स अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रोड पोटेंशियल एंड ओवरऑल वैल्यू विल बिकम नेगेटिव so that is where they have the ability to release hydrogen gas from the acids now in the case of titanium again you can see the enthalpy of atomization first second third again it has high hydration enthalpy now look at copper in the case of copper the atomization is 339 first enthalpy is 745 second is 1958 and hydration is minus 2121 fine and if you now add all these values the overall value become positive which is 0.34 in the case of zinc also if you add all these values it is becoming the negative only so all these electrode potential values it basically depends in on atomization values first ionization enthalpy second and the hydrogen enthalpy some of all these values decides about the ev value whether it is positive or the negative so the stability of half filled d subshell in mn2 positive and the completely filled d10 configuration in zinc 
they are related to their EV values. Whereas EV for nickel is related to highest negative hydration therapy. Means nickel ki kyu aapki negative ja rahi value because iski hydration negative hai. Or agar aap dekhe ki zinc ki or manganese 2 positive ki negative kyu ja rahi value because in cases mein uh, agar aap dekhe to inki jo ionization therapy hai wo bahut zyada hai third. आप देख सकते हैं जिंक 2 पॉजिटिव की थर्ड 1734 व्हिच इज हायर एंड इन द केस ऑफ निकल आल्सो निकल की अगर आप देखें तो निकल की केस में भी इट इज 1752 डिग्रीज अगेन हायर सो दैट इज व्हाई दे आर बिकम देयर ओवरऑल इलेक्ट्रोपोटेंशियल बिकम्स नेगेटिव सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो